Hello, and welcome back to another Kenshi little tip slash guide video. Um, so I'm going to start off by saying about the location. Um, for Kenshi, this is actually quite flat. Over here is also quite flat, but the uh, the fertility and stuff is not as good over there as it is over this side. But this, this little mound will do. This is quite flat for Kenshi, honestly. Um, most of Kenshi is mountainous and lumpy and bumpy and horrendous. But this is a nice little place. Um, I'll just start off saying where we are. So on the map, we are just off the off the sides of the cannibal plains here, and then you've got the Holy Nation just here, and you've got the um, United Cities around this area um, within the desert. Uh, this is like no man's land counts as slash. Um, basically, what that means is the Holy Nation are at war with the United Cities, and they will have a fight around around this area. You'll also have cannibals come in from time to time. Actually, quite often. I'm actually going to say they, they come quite often. Um, so, yeah, that's where I am on the on the map, um, next to a fishing village. And I think this is a pretty good place. So, let me just show you what the prospects look like. So, let's start with this guy in my prospector. Let's just get him out. So, if we prospect on the floor here. So, the numbers are bugged. <laughs> but stone is at 100. Uh, fertility is at 70 something and water is 80 plus and it's it's pretty good it's pretty good obviously it's saying no iron and no copper but that's wrong I have a copper resource here and I also have a iron resource here so they're encompassed within so I can make electrical components stuff like that etc copper plating and I can make steel bars and iron plates from here um, yeah I'm good and then so what I did next I think was so when I when I first turned up, uh, I definitely recommend having enough people. So these are my fighter guys. Um, they're all kitted out in my my uh, master smith and master weapon makers equipment. I, that's what I did um, throughout my early days. You can see it on the video, my my previous video. Um, I was on like day ten, and that was the same. This is the same save, same playthrough. So yeah. Uh, what I did was I got a stone processor. I, I had those necessary requirements to build a few things. I had the stone processor one, I had the stone mine one, and I had a wind generator, um, like ingredients or crafting materials, uh, enough for one each. And that's all I came here with. Um, obviously, you don't need to worry about food because right here is a nifty little village where they sell fish in this building and they sell various stuff in this bar. Um, also, I have a mod on for like vendors, uh, so I don't know what it's going to be like without the mod on. But for me, there's like ten building materials in here at a time and ten iron plates, which sped a lot the the uh, like the beginning, um, so to speak. Um, so yeah, I had the stone processor. I had that churning out building materials into this storage here, and then I set the blueprints for the walls down. Uh, and that's it. I didn't do anything else. I just needed to get the walls up because the moment you place a building out here It counts as an outpost and you will get raids So that's why I say definitely have the fighters and you'll definitely get raids from the cannibals. I think more so than anything else so yeah The moment you place the stone processor or the stone mine down uh, That will count as an outpost. So I got the, the so this was in itself making I came here with the settlers and I came actually I got a few of these out of that bar over there but I came with some settlers I came with all my fighters uh, and also they were part of the fighters um, so yeah I had those down ready to protect whilst I made building materials and then I got everyone to build the wall uh, the one thing I want to say about the wall is I've made a little like uh, choke point here I guess like on RimWorld they were called kill boxes where like the AI would path into this area and you could just kill them in any way which way in that like an ambush so a raid will come in like a cannibal raid and they'll come up and say meat or something and I've just got to pause the game close the door uh, and then these guys with crossbows and the guys over here with harpoon turrets uh, will just completely annihilate anyone at this door um, the game gets quite laggy because I've got quite like large group sizes on so I have this corpse furnace here ready and waiting um, Obviously getting the crossbows was not like priority because my fighters were strong enough to handle any raid that came in But they are nice now where I could just have these guys up and just lock the door and just watch the fun basically. It's just pretty good um, So yeah, that's what I did with the walls. So now I've got building materials churning out I started to build a few building nodes, which was this one and this one over here and this one 
Uh, in this building here, I have uh, I can't you can't see it, but I have an electrical workbench in here, and I also have my batteries. Yeah, you can't see the batteries, but um, that's what I've got in here. So I've got batteries and an electrical workbench uh, using copper to make the electrical components for the more wind generators. Uh, I, at the same time, I also had someone building an iron refinery here. It was only iron refinery one. At some point, I used the materials to upgrade to make things go faster. But uh, at the start, I used iron refinery one just to get things going. Um, so I have a guy mining iron, running it into the iron storage. Then I have a guy running from the iron storage to the iron refinery, making the plates, and then putting the plates back so everyone can use them to build. I also have people turning those iron plates into steel bars, but that's that's something that's not as important per se. That was for the harpoon turrets that I got that going. Um, so yeah, I have I have like supply of iron plates, a supply of uh, building materials, so I could build anything I needed to, defenses, buildings, equipment, etc., etc. The one thing I didn't need to worry about so much was food, just because we are situated right next to this lovely little fishing village, so I could buy fish from the guy and then put it in my food stores which is up here I have food stores they are empty but that's fine because uh, now I have got my own food uh, it's not something that's a priority here which is a, a nice little a nice little bonus to the location um, so yeah I've got these cotton farms and they're making me cotton and I have a automatic loom uh, making fabric which is the only thing I didn't have because I kind of needed them for beds because for some reason in this location right here it will spawn um, the raptors and they'll attack my farmers like from time to time so I needed beds to heal them up you can see them up here like trying to heal and stuff um, so yeah I think that's that's it yeah so I have bark in here as well so this guy uh, he's making me food where is bark there he is here he's making me bread and the bread's going in this in in here so when my guys get hungry now they can feed themselves so now I don't have to run like hordes and hordes of fish to the food food barrels and that's basically how I did it so step one stone processor step two walls and if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna go for this then I recommend it it's quite nice um, step three iron plates uh, for the other building materials and then step four like electrical work workbench for the electrical components uh, and then building the power and then step five sustainability in other things like um, fabrics and uh, food and yeah that's basically how I did it um, I don't know if I mentioned that you need uh, quite if you're gonna start a base then I would definitely recommend having fighters just because the fighters will the moment you place a stone mine you will get raided quite often depending on what, how hard you've set the game so having fighters to begin with is a definite nice little help obviously your guys will be attacked by cannibals quite a lot so yeah i think that's everything that i've done so far if i miss something or i remember something i'll probably make another guide um on a few other things that i found out about can't you on my own and yeah uh i thank you for watching this video and i will see you again soon peace